Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today, I'll be discussing the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator 2020. I will have a link in the description below with the file that you can access to follow along. I will also have a link in the description below to my Twitch channel that is twitch.tv forward slash MikeyB underscore. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, starting with a single line or a single line with a 45 degree angle in a closed path. This is page one. We'll be going over the basic function of the pen tool and holding down the shift key and how that will keep your path straight. So you can start off by pressing P if you haven't already, you have your pen tool out. We can start here at this anchor point. If you notice, we have smart guides on. So that's control U to turn it off, control U to turn it back on. So from here, we can just click over once and we can click again. That's how we can create a path. Very simple. From here, I'm going to just demonstrate holding shift. So we want to click on this anchor point, hold shift. Now this will keep holding shift keeps your line straight and at 45s. So in 45 increments. So we want to come over here. We want to find this anchor point, click it, let go, hold shift again, come over here. So I want to actually undo that because I want to demonstrate this without guides. So control you again to take guides off. We don't need this to be exact. So we can click here, hold shift, keep holding shift, click here. And now we can click escape to get out of that. So showing without guides, that way you can understand how it functions a little better. I'm going to keep my guides off for now. We will move on to here. Holding shift, holding shift, and all clicking on all these points. If you'll notice, this part right here is going to be a little more difficult to line this up perfectly. If you notice, if I hold shift, this doesn't actually line up perfectly. So what I want to do is undo this. I actually want to press control U, sorry, and turn my guides back on. So what I'm going to do is hold shift here. I'm going to zoom in all the way. And by the way, when I'm zooming, I'm holding control and space and I'm clicking and dragging left to right to zoom in. I call that my scrubby zoom. And it's much easier than me for me than pressing control plus or control minus. So I'm going to hold shift again back to this. And from here, if you notice when I drag this over, you'll get this intersect guide. This can be very useful and click right here. If I hold shift again, you'll notice this will be lined up perfectly. And now you get that little circle next to your pen tool. I don't even need to hold shift here. I know the line's straight, but I can hold shift if I would like and just click to close the path. Now, if your line's still angled and you're not getting it and it's a little off, there's a good chance that if you go to your view up top, you might have snap to pixel. Snap to pixel sometimes is default turned on. I like to turn it off because for in instances like this, I like to get a nice fine measurement. Looks like I deleted that path. I'll show you about opening this path. So this is a, we could go here actually and start from here, I accidentally deleted this, this little segment of the path. So we'll start here. If you see that little line, little dash line, it means continue the path. So I'm gonna click here once, hold shift, and I can do the same thing from up here. Find that intersection point, click it, and then close the path. Press escape. I now have this nice closed path. Works out pretty good. All right, so let's move on to page two of four. Bezier curves and then adding and deleting anchor points. We'll start with this U-shaped curve here. And from here, we want to select this anchor point. And instead of just clicking once, we want to click and drag. And we'll always want to drag in the direction that our line's going. And from here, we want to hold shift, go here. Now find the next anchor point. In this situation, we're not going this way, right? So the line would technically continue down this way. So we want to drag down where it's holding shift. Move that top handle all the way up to that dashed path, just like that. And we can click escape because we don't need this line to continue, right? So we can escape. And now you'll notice I'll press my V, my direction tool, just to select out of it and click the screen so I can get rid of that stuff. But yeah, and it's nice and clean little U-shaped curve. Let's go back to the pen tool, zoom in, go to this anchor point, click and hold shift. And we're gonna do the same thing as before, but now we're gonna finish the circle. Drag my handle up there, go to this anchor point, click and drag downwards, holding shift, drag this down. Awesome. Now we're going to go here and close the path. In this situation, we don't, we can keep this locked in because we're making a circle. Let's drag this handle all the way up to the top to match what we did before and we can let go. Awesome. You don't need to press escape actually after you've closed the path because now the path is closed. You no longer have to click escape. Let's move down to this curvy line, or as we all know, is Bezier curves. Let's start on the left and move right. So we got this anchor point from here. We want to go downwards because we want our line to go down. Let's drag it to the path. 
Let's now go center here. Click and drag this all the way to the top. Now let's go all the way to the last anchor point. Click and drag, all holding shift down to this dotted path. Now we have this nice curve. We can exit out of that. It's a nice little S-shaped curve. All right, so let's move on to the curvy line with 45. We'll start with this anchor point, And from here, we're going to all be holding shift on this. So we could hold shift to go down, but clearly that's not going to give us the path we want. If we clicked here and tried to like match this, it's just not going to work. So from here, we're going to start with this, start this with a 45. And we're going to go to this path down here and go to this middle point here, click and hold shift. And I'm trying to demonstrate how you can get a lot of different curvy paths, a lot of different Bezier curves by using only three points, for instance. Some people might do this and, you know, add like a bunch of points in between. There's no reason because in this situation, you only need three points. And with the appropriate tangent handles, you can make this happen. Awesome. Good job, guys. Let's move on to page three or four. Let's make some things and we'll start with this little droopy triangle. That's what I called it. All right. So we'll start here at the top of this anchor point. We're going to click and drag over to this path. Awesome. And from here, this is going to be a little different because instead of starting like here, we could do here and we could go like down here maybe, but instead we can come down all the way here and hold shift and we can drag us all the way over to this path. Now we want this line to stay straight. So let's drag this over, click, and we're going to keep holding shift right here. And we're going to watch our left handle, hit that dash line. Awesome. Now we don't want to hold shift here because this will actually affect this. So let's let go of shift, click and drag, but now let's hold shift to keep this line straight drag it to the dash path and we let go and we closed our path. We now have ourselves a little droopy triangle. Now let's move on to the heart with guides. So this looks a little overwhelming, but I promise it's not that difficult. We'll start here in the center of the heart or the top little crevice. We're going to click and drag this up to this little intersection here. Now we don't want to hold shift because that will throw us off. We don't want a 45. We actually just want to free, you know, freestyle this a little bit because we want the shape, this shape to be correct. We're going to go over to this anchor point and we're going to hold shift on this one as well. We're going to do a small little tangent handle. We're going to go down to this anchor point, hold shift. Let's drag this right handle to that dotted line. Now we can keep holding shift so we can get to this anchor point, hold shift again, click and drag this way, right to this path. Same thing here. Anchor point, hold shift, click and drag. Let's get it right to that dashed line. Now here we can click and drag. Oh wait, so we can't do this because if you notice, now the tangent handles are tied together. When I move one, it moves the other. So that's gonna kind of mess up our line. Instead, we can hold down the Alt key. You can click and drag this. And then, like I said, we don't wanna hold Shift, but we wanna go to that same intersection point as we did over here, if you're looking at my cursor. So let's go back and match that to be about right there. If you notice, this circle only has four points. Every circle is only going to have four points. So this one's going to have probably a point here, 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 and here, which means it's going to have an extra two points. So we need to create an extra two points. What we want to do is kind of find where these two points are, because what we want to do is click and drag this center point to the center of the circle. Now, we don't really want to do that now because we don't have those po other points created. We want to retain this path. So let's undo that. Let's actually get the pen tool out. Let's find where this anchor point is. Let's just kind of move our cursor over. Nothing perfect. Let's go ahead and select this first. Press the pen tool. Once you have your line selected, you'll get this plus symbol. Let's click here. Now we can go down here, find this roughly. We're not trying to be perfect. Now that we have these two points created, we can go ahead and drag the center anchor point. We'll find the center with our smart guides. Awesome. And from here, we can actually go up to the top here if you wanted to convert to a corner. You can remove those tangent handles because we don't need those here. We just need the straight lines. We're still going to have curves. So what we can do, instead of clicking and dragging this anchor point, or the handle, sorry, we can undo that, Control Z, and hold down your Alt key again. Now we can click and drag. And I like to just drag this all the way to the point. And this will make sure my line is nice and straight. And we got ourselves a little Pac-Man. Pretty awesome, right? So let's go back and create this heart without guides. So I'm going to undo my guides. Control U. And we're just going to freestyle this. I'm going to start here. We'll go up a little bit here, maybe. Go over here. I'll go through this a little bit faster. So 
So we just create ourselves a nice little heart. Awesome. Good job, guys. Let's move on to page four. This is where I challenge you. Things will get a little more difficult. Even I myself will be doing things differently than I've done before because I, I tend to, you know, veer off a little bit. So I'm going to do this without guides. Um, I'm here when I start, I'm going to hold my shift key down, go here. Maybe I'll go here a little bit. I might want to go here as well. And on this one, I might actually be able to go. Now let's go down here. I'll go down here first. I'm doing a little bit more points than maybe I should, but I want to make sure I hit these. I'm going to hold shift right here. This isn't perfect. I want to use my scrubby zoom, come in here, hold shift down, do another small one right here, hold my shift down. Let's see if we can go all the way up here. So if I do this and drag this point, let's try it. Hold now, hold down my alt key and we can individually mess with this one tangent handle. Now we can change this tangent handle. Let's undo that actually. Let's build this other point first. Sometimes it's better to continue your path and then come back and edit your points later. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna click and hold. I'm actually gonna keep this connected. Hold shift down. Awesome. So it's not perfect. My line's kind of covering up some of my mistakes here. So I can come in here, click on this point. I can actually rotate this a little bit. Let's rotate this back, but maybe I'm gonna rotate this tangent handle. And if you notice, I, I rotate this tangent handle. It actually pulls the other tangent handle up there and rotates that one. That's illustrated trying to make sure your path is nice and smooth. Select the line again. I actually select off of it. Okay, I keep missing it. So from here, maybe we maybe we need to move this point down a little bit. Move this tangent handle up here. Let's try that. Maybe drag this one down a little bit more. There we go. That's a little better. So now we can go ahead and create the stem if you would like. That's not perfect, but that's the general shape we want. That looks pretty good, actually. Less points, longer handles, you'll have smoother paths. All right, so let's do this dog. This one's going to be a little more challenging. Awesome. I wanted to address one more thing really quick before we finish up. If you have any kind of path that has anchor points, say you want to delete an anchor point in here. So let's add a point here. Maybe you have these three points and you know that this one's unnecessary. You don't know. Maybe you don't know how it got there. You want to get rid of it. You can press the minus key when you have the pen tool out. You can actually delete this key or this anchor point. Sorry. When you delete it, if you'll notice it just smushed it and you're like, what the heck? I want, I want that path to be retained. What you can do instead is now hold shift key down. This is new in 2020. You can hold down shift, click that, and you'll notice that the path actually stays. So if you don't hold shift, this is what happens. If you hold shift, this is what happens. You'll actually retain that path. So that's good. If you ever come across any kind of vector work that maybe has like, a, you know, a ton of different dots on it or anything, um, you can get rid of those anchor points and retain the path by holding shift. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking it out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you have any questions you want to ask them live, feel free to go to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash MikeyB underscore and hit me up there. And so, yeah, that's it, guys. See you in the next one.